Welcome back to our course. Um, the next thing we're going to look into are the general signs of a sick cow or ill health in cows. And the first sign that you're going to see in a cow that you know that is sick is lack of appetite, what you call anorexia. And in that case, an animal doesn't totally drink or take its feed. The next thing that you're probably going to see is unthriftness. This is basically rough hair coat. Um, normally animals have that shiny coat, but in case of a disease, you'll normally find it rough. That's what you call unthriftness. The next thing that you're commonly going to find in a sick animal is a reduced production. In our case, in dairy cows, you'll find that there is a reduced milk production. We should tell you that there is a problem. Another thing you're going to see in a sick animal is that they'll be isolated. They won't be like um, walking around with the others lagging behind. That you should tell you that that animal is not well. Recumbency, when they're so sick they also go down, they lie down. They, should, they could lie on their sternum, on their stomachs and all that. Another sign, if they're having pain anywhere in the stomach, in the... A thoracic area, it will be belly kicking, like literally kicking the bellies. You'll know there's a problem. Another common sign in a sick animal, or a dairy cow in this case, is dry muzzle. Normally, the muzzles in dry in, uh, in an health cow is normally moist. But in case of sickness, you'll find it dry. Another thing you may find is uh, with problems in the digestive system, you might find that the animal is diarrhea, having loose stool, or it could also be constipating, passing around hard fecal matter and straining. Another thing you may find in a sick animal, if it's affecting the respiratory system, you'll find it coughing, uh, having labored breathing, or, or it could also not breathe totally in what we call apnea. After finding out on the general signs of a sick animal, now the clinical approach to it, first and foremost is the history. This will be given by the farmer or the person in charge of those animals. And in this case, you go through when it started, how it started, and how long it has come. From the history, you can now do the general examination. In this case, you check the environment. You could find that there, there's diarrhea, there is constipation shown by hard stools and all that. This should guide you in coming up with a diagnosis. From the physical examination, the next approach, we should go into physical examination. You could auscultate using a stethoscope to change the lung sounds, heart sounds, which should guide you to the diagnosis of the specific disease. From there, now you go to differential diagnosis. This is basically a list of possible causes of that specific condition. We should get down and list probably a few. From there, it should guide you to the next one, which should be the specific diagnosis of that condition. After diagnosing it, now you, you can manage or treat it using drugs specific to that condition. After that, you advise the farmer or whoever is taking care of animals on the control measures of that specific disease. And if a farmer is uh, or the client is not always sure of that specific disease uh, and cannot manage, you should always seek secondary opinion from a veterinary technician or a veterinary doctor. On physical examination, uh, when taking temperature, the normal temperature range for an healthy cow should range from 37.5 degrees to 38.5 degrees. And anything above 39.5 degrees should cause alarm uh, normally called, we normally call it fever or hypothermia. And anything below 36 degrees centigrade is subnormal and should cause alarm. When auscultating for lung sounds, um, it should not be increased above normal, causing labored breathing. And for heart sound, it should not increase above normal. An healthy animal should always have a smooth and shiny hair coat and not rough and thrifty. An healthy cow should always have appetite 
of taking feed and taking water. Any deviation from that is abnormal. On physical examination, a healthy cow should have a temperature range of between 37.5 degrees Celsius to 38.5 degrees Celsius. Its lung sound should be normal, not increased or decreased, same to its heart sounds. A normal cow should always have normal consistency of stool. It should not be too loose in case of diarrhea or too dry in case of constipation. A normal animal should always be with the other animals and not isolated or lagging behind the others. The urine should be normal in volume and normal in color, which should be straw colored. The normal urine in a healthy cow should always be normal in volume. In this case, it depends on the water intake, which is normally determined by the temperature, environmental temperature, and also its color should be straw colored. Any deviation from that is a sign of illness. Mm-hmm.